Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry A. Kissinger attends the American Academy's awards ceremony at Charlottenburg Palace in Berlin, Germany. On January 21, 2020, a Negret Hills file photo obtaining licensing rights November 29 Henry Kissinger. Diplomatic force whose roles as National Security Advisor and Secretary of State under two presidents left an indelible mark on U.S. foreign policy and earned him the controversial Nobel Peace Prize. On Wednesday at age of 100, according to the statement of geopolitical consultancy company Kissinger Associates Inc., Kissinger at his home in Connecticut. Conditions were not mentioned. He will be buried in private family ceremony and a public memorial service will be held in New York. At later date, Kissinger had passed his centennial, attended meetings at the White House, published a book on leadership styles and testified before a Senate committee about the nuclear threat posed by North Korea. In July 2023, he made a surprise visit to Beijing to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping. While serving as National Security Advisor and Secretary of State under Republican President Richard Nixon midst of Cold War in 1970s, he played a role many decades groundbreaking global events. The German-born Jewish refugees' efforts led to a U.S. diplomatic opening with China. U.S.-Soviet arms control talks expanded ties between Israel and its Arab neighbors, and the Paris Peace Accords with North Vietnam. Kissinger's reign as chief architect of U.S. foreign policy was weakened by Nixon's resignation in 1974 during the Watergate scandal, yet he continued to be a diplomatic force as Secretary of State under Nixon's successor, President Gerald Ford, and to offer strong opinions throughout the rest of his life. While many praised Kissinger for his genius and vast experience, others branded him a war criminal for his support of anti-communist dictatorship, especially in Latin America. In his final years, his travels were limited by efforts by other nations to detain him or interrogate him about past U.S. foreign policy. The 1973 Peace Prize, jointly awarded to North Vietnamese Le Duc Tho, who refused the award, was one of the most controversial awards ever. Two members of the Nobel Committee resigned after questions emerged about the secret U.S. ing of Cambodia. Ford called Kissinger his super-secretary of state but also noted his gruffness and self-confidence. Critics called it more paranoia and selfishness. Even Ford said in Henry's mind, mistakes were never made. He had the thinnest skin of any public figure I've ever known. Ford said in an interview shortly before his death in 2006. With his sullen expression harsh, German-accented voice, Kissinger had the of both a stuffy academic and a ladies' man. Guiding starlets in Washington, New York during his bachelor days, he said that power is the greatest aphrodisiac. Practical about politics. Kissinger was reticent on personal matters, though he once told a journalist that H.